Recently, I found myself caught up in the relentless pursuit of a perfect style, a relentless pressure that was slowly draining the pleasure out of my artistic journey. It was only when I took a step back and embraced a carefree attitude that I truly rekindled my love for the process. The realization hit me hard. I had become so focused on honing my skills and finding a distinct style that I had forgotten the happiness that art once brought me. Painting had become a means to an end, a methodical journey to improvement rather than a source of genuine enjoyment. The turning point came when I decided to cast aside the burden of expectations and just paint for the sheer pleasure of it. Breaking free from the self-imposed constraints, I experienced a moment of artistic liberation where I genuinely didn't care about achieving perfection. Surprisingly, it was during this carefree state that I created a painting that resonated with me on a profound level. It was a reminder that the pursuit of artistic excellence should not compromise the sheer joy of creation. So, how can one find enjoyment in art again? Here are a few things that work for me. Number one, take a break and reflect. Step back, take a deep breath and reflect on your artistic journey. Sometimes, a little distance can provide valuable perspective, helping you recognize where the pressure is coming from. Number two, draw inspiration from favorites. Revisit the works of your favorite artists. Let their creations act as sparks that reignite your passion. Appreciating the artistry of others can serve as a reminder of why you fell in love with art in the first place. Number three, explore different mediums. Break the monotony by experimenting with new mediums. Trying your hand at something unfamiliar can unleash a flood of creativity and open new pathways of expression. Create without expectations. Remove the pressure of perfection. Create for the sake of creating. Let go of expectations and allow your intuition to guide the process. You might be surprised at the authentic beauty that emerges when you release yourself from the constraints of preconceived notions. Number five, craft 
an inspiring environment. Your workspace matters. Create a studio or art corner that radiates positivity. A pleasant environment can significantly impact your mood and enthusiasm for creating. Number six, choose subject matter that you genuinely love. If you love the subject matter, you will give it all. Choose subject matter that you like and love, not a subject matter that you thought people would love, or a mainstream one that is in style right now. The last one, practice patience. Art is not an instant noodle. It is a slow cook masterpiece. Be patient with yourself. Allow the creative process to unfold naturally. Sometimes the most rewarding out- outcomes require time and dedication. In the pursuit of artistic excellence, it is crucial not to lose sight of the joy that fueled our passion for art. By embracing a carefree mindset, exploring new avenues and creating without constraints, you can rediscover the pleasure that makes art truly remarkable. After all, isn't the enjoyment of the journey the very reason we choose to be artists? I had a lot of fun actually. I managed to switch off my mind when I played with this um, painting and I cannot wait to start painting on the canvas with this um, acrylic ink and acrylic paint as well. I think I can mix it together and it looks really cool. I really love the pigment in acrylic ink. It's beautiful. I'm going to buy different kind of color next time. And look at this. It was pretty fun learning how the liquid behave and yeah trying to create a balanced composition cannot wait until I buy more colors and painting on a canvas it was a lot of mess but it's okay Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video and if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and please take care of yourself and I will see you again next week.